Gallagher has made a name for himself in Congress. We've seen him featured on television in heated debates about the Chinese Communist Party. But how much do we really know about Mike Gallagher, his life, and why he got into politics? We spent a couple of days with him here on Capitol Hill to find out. We were given unprecedented access to Congressman Gallagher's daily life in D.C. Every morning, he hits the ground running. On this day, it happened to be for a three-mile charity race, taking home the title as fastest man in Congress six years running. Representative Mike Gallagher. Fastest man in Congress. Most members of Congress are above the age of 70, and they're, uh, they're easy to beat. Trading his green shoes for a blue suit for back-to-back -back meetings with constituents in his office decorated wall-to-wall -wall with Wisconsin gear. This is a keg from Door County Brewing Company. Followed by classified meetings, congressional voting, an event with former Speaker of the House Paul Ryan, then to chair a hearing for the Select Committee on China. The Select Committee will come to order. The Congressman's day is expertly scheduled down to the minute. So while in D.C., he keeps a tight commute. How tight? Yes, I actually live in my office. Too. Tucked away behind a hidden door is a room that looks a lot like a military barrack. And I sleep in a cot with a sleeping bag. Something Congressman Gallagher is familiar with. Before being elected to Congress, Gallagher served with the U.S. Marine Corps as an intelligence officer, was the lead Republican for the Middle East and counterterrorism in the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, earned a bachelor's degree from Princeton, a master's from Georgetown, a second master's in strategic intelligence, and a Ph.D. in Cold War policymaking. That's quite a resume. So why politics? Uh, it was unexpected. I had moved back to Wisconsin to work for Governor Walker. I was his national security advisor when he ran for president. And um, uh, it was a rare opportunity to do national security work but be back home near my family. Gallagher says he was ready to teach a course at UWGB when he was asked to run for Congress, a position that pushed him far outside of his comfort zone but would keep him in Wisconsin. Politics was not on my radar. Since taking office in 2017, Gallagher has taken on high-profile roles in Congress, becoming the chairman for the new Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, in addition to his responsibilities on cyber information and intelligence committees. Craig Gilbert, former Washington bureau chief of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, has been following his career since he took office and says chairing the Select Committee has paved the way for Gallagher to focus on China. He's one of those guys that, you know, people sort of see and and describe as kind of a rising like figure within the party. He's carved out sort of a policy niche for himself on the Hill. Democrats we spoke with on the Select Committee on China agree. Mike has done a good job of keeping the issues bipartisan, making it about America, not being a Democrat Republican. Coming up tonight at 10, Congressman Gallagher addresses the threat of the CCP and what he says would happen if China achieves its superpower ambitions. The world in which China is the dominant global power is a very dark, dark world that we don't want to live in. That's tonight on NBC 26 News at 10.